Candidates are expected to have a thorough understanding of the syllabus details outlined in the accompanying figure. Electric current. The electric current is related to the flow of charge. So the definition of electric current is the amount of change passing a point per second. We can be wrote the equation as I equals Q over T, where I is the current in ampere. Q is the amount of charge in coulomb. T is the time in second. So, ampere is coulomb per second. The direction of current is same to the direction of moving of positive charges. While the direction of current is opposite to the direction of moving of the negative charges. In a metal conductor, there are only the free-moving electrons that can flow. When two oppositely charged conductors are connected together by a metal conductor, such as copper, charge will flow between the two conductors. This flow of charge is called an electric current. The greater the flow of charge, the greater the electric current. For example 1, what charge is delivered if a current of 250 milliamperes flows for 40 seconds? Convert 250 milliamperes to amperes by dividing 1000. From the equation, I equals Q over T. Then we rearrange the equation as Q equals I times T. Substitute I equals 0.25 and T equals 40. Q equals 10 coulombs. Example 2, the charge built up on the cloud before the lightning flash is 0.60 coulombs. This charge is completely transferred to the ground by the lightning flash in 5.0 times 10 to the power of minus 5 seconds. Calculate the current between the cloud and the ground. From the equation, I equals Q over T. Substitute Q equals 0.60 and t equals 5.0 times 10 to the power of minus 5. i equals 12,000 amperes. Measuring current. A simple circuit is shown on the diagram. This is a cell. Longest side is indicated a positive. Shortest side is indicated a negative. This is a light bulb. This is an amateur which are two types as digital and analog. It is used to measure the current in a circuit. It must connect in series. Good amateur should has low resistance to allow more charges to flow through it. This is the connecting wire, which is made of copper, because a copper is a good conductor. The convectional free-moving electrons in a copper flow from a negative terminal to a positive terminal of a cell. While the convectional current flow from a positive terminal to a negative terminal of a cell. Direct current and alternating current. Direct current, or DC, is the current to flow in one direction. The current from a dry cell or battery is a DC. The graphs showing the variation of current with time for direct current as shown on the diagram. Alternating current, or AC, is the current to flow forward and backward. The current from mains electricity of house and generator is an AC. The graph showing the variation of current with time for direct current as shown on the diagram. Electromotive force, or EMF. Electromotive force is the electrical work done by a source in moving a unit charge around a complete circuit. We can wrote the equation as E equals W over Q, where E is the electromotive force, or EMF, that is measured in volt. W is the electrical work done in joules. Q is the charge in coulombs. Potential difference, or PD. Potential difference is the work done per unit charge that passing charge through a component. We can wrote the equation as V equals W over Q, where V is the potential difference, or PD, that is measured in volt. W is the electrical work done in joules. Q is the charge in coulombs. So, volt is joule per coulomb. Measuring electromotive force and potential difference. 
A simple circuit is shown on the diagram. This is a cell. Longest side is indicated a positive. Shortest side is indicated a negative. This is a light bulb. This is an amateur, which are two types as digital and analog. It is used to measure the current in a circuit. It must connect in series. Good amateur should has low resistance to allow more charges to flow through it. This is a voltmeter, which are two types as digital and analog. It is used to measure the electromotive force across a cell. This is also a voltmeter. It is used to measure the potential difference across a light bulb. Therefore the voltmeter is used to measure the PD and EMF. They must connect in the parallel to a cell and a light bulb. Good voltmeter should has very high resistance to block the current to flow through it. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I would be grateful if you would subscribe, share, like and leave a positive comment. Your support will encourage me to create more content. Thank you.